Hey guys, welcome to the first video of my brand new channel. I'm going to get started straight away with a four week early bird challenge. So basically what I'm going to do is wake up at 6am every day for the next four weeks. The reason I'm doing it is because lately I've found that I, there's so much I want to do and I just don't feel like I ever have time to do it after work or I don't have the motivation because I'm kind of tired or whatever. So I thought if I wake up early, then I have like two hours before work that I can uh, get on with some stuff that I'm actually interested in, in trying out. I have plans to try out uh, game development and just learning how to how to use a camera and a microphone. Uh, I've been planning on selling a YouTube channel for ages, so I'm sure that's going to be in there too. So yeah, let's uh, let's get started. For the first few days, I uh, I was mainly learning how to use my new equipment, my camera and my Blue Yeti microphone. Uh, I followed this great course on uh, Udemy by a guy called Phil Ebner. It's a, it's a really good course, so I totally recommend it for anyone that's uh, really got no experience or knowledge at all on video production. I also watched a few other YouTube videos on just how to record audio. A lot of people were recommending a software called Audacity. So I checked that out and that is, uh, that's what I'm using now. So I've got a lot to learn, but I learned a little bit about how to reduce the noise in the background and, and things like that. And yeah, it's, it's coming along. I think I'm, I'm learning something anyway. So after the first few mornings this week, I actually I uh, was nearly finished with the course, so on Thursday morning I decided to just relax. So I woke up and just did a little bit of reading. So that was nice. So on Saturday morning, after finishing the course completely, I thought it was time to just go outside and play a little bit with the camera, and, and, and me and my girlfriend had a little bit of fun doing that. We took some uh, B-roll footage and just messed about a little bit. So that was uh, that was a nice day actually, nice morning. Day seven, I failed today. I had a really good night last night. Um, there's a an impro theatre group in Trondheim called Gibberish. Once every six months or so, they do this improvised musical uh, thing, and it's so funny. It's so much fun. Um, so I went to that last night and uh, it got a little bit late anyway, so I woke up uh, way too late today, so I think it's, it's okay to, to fail once in a while, as long as you don't use that failure as a, as, a, as a way of giving up, you know. With that in mind, I thought I'd come up with a few tips on how to wake up early, so here we go. So tip number one. No snoozing your alarm. I can snooze for up for an hour sometimes, and it feels so good while you're doing it, but if you're going to wake up at 8 o'clock, why snooze for an hour beforehand? Like, It just creates this tired feeling anyway, I, I, I think, so try not to snooze your alarm. Tip number two, I guess along the same vein, is uh, if you are a snoozer, put your phone somewhere that you cannot reach when you wake up, so you're kind of forced to get out of bed just to turn off the alarm. It's an annoying one, but it works. Tip number three, jump straight into the shower. I just found out actually that you need to do this with cold water, not hot water, because hot water can actually make you feel more sleepy. But if you use cold water, then your body kind of has this res shock response. So you start breathing a little bit deeper and your heart rate increases and you just get a lot more oxygen flow around your body and it, it wakes you up. So. I'm going to have to stop having hot showers in the morning now and go for cold ones. Tip number four, uh, just brush your teeth. I know when I wake up I usually have terrible morning breath uh, and it just doesn't make me want to be awake. <laughs> so brushing my teeth really just gets me in the mood of being awake and starting to have a bit of a productive day. So yeah, brush your teeth in the morning. Tip number five, go for a walk. Just a short one, but... 
having a, having the fresh air in your face and uh, getting your body moving is a, is a great way to get your your blood flowing as well. And that will just wake you up more. It's as uh, simple as that, really. Exercise helps. If you don't want to walk, you can do a bit of yoga in, in your house or squats, anything. Uh, but just a little bit of exercise and that will get your blood flowing and, and wake you up. And I guess as a bonus tip, if all else fails, coffee. It helps me. Oh, that's cold. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. So yeah, that's it for week one. It's gone well, I think. I'm, uh, I'm on the right track. I have been tired, but you know that's to be expected. I am getting used to it already, even though I failed today. But I think next week's going to be even better. I'm starting to be less tired at work already, and I, I, I think I'm, I'm already on track to feeling like I'm achieving more out of my weeks anyway. So yeah, week one, done. If you have enjoyed this video, please uh, remember to subscribe and uh, and like. It will just really motivate me to make more. Uh, if you didn't like this video, just comment and uh, let me know why and how I can improve. Because uh, I do want to make more uh, videos. But if I'm not interesting anybody, then I need to change them. So yeah, just like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things. See you next week.